sweetie, bring me lunch. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. So today, we, you guys just saw us pull the uh, cement board up. We actually put a board underneath that cement board. It's called a micro board or a micro board, whatever it's called. Um, it's actually a heat repellent that I guess radiates heat from the floor off the stove and comes back up so you don't have your house burned down a few months later, correct? Yes. So now that we got that stuff changed out, flip-flopped and right, now it's time to make Aaron into a mason. Yes. So today she's going to be laying stone. Yes. Right? Yeah. I've got to try out all kinds of things. The drywall, the carpentry, the plumbing, the electrical. Now we're going to do a little stone work. Yeah. I'm also going to work on teaching kids not to slam doors. Put that yep. on my to-do list. Yep, yep, yep. And that's it. Right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, and also we're, so we're going, getting all the stone on there today, but we're also going to be showing you guys the uh, new wood stove. Wood stove. That we got. I'm super excited about it. We've been wanting this for like a long time. Yes, it's been on, I mean, that's probably one of the stoves you've been looking at for a number of years now, right? Yes, it's been our dream like wish list stove, so. Yep. We're excited. Yeah, it's actually, it's a cook stove also. Okay. Spoiler alert. <laughs> kind of, okay, ready? Yes. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is not a how to do it, right? We're not going that route. Um, we're figuring it out as we go. We're mi mixing the mortar and we're just slapping this stuff up and hopefully it works, looks out, looks good. As with most things that we do. <laughs> yeah, um, and I know all the stone going up there, it's a lot of weight too, but a few months back, we didn't record it, but we actually, uh, I went underneath the house and put 
two more two by tens underneath that wall right there. And I have uh, like every 12 inches or so, I have uh, two by tens going through where the platform is also to hold all the weight with the stove and all these stones. So we should be good. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this turns out. This is the kind of project that's a little bit like nerve wracking because it's at that awkward stage right now where you're not really sure if it's gonna turn out. We know what the end result is Hopefully supposed it looks to like. look like. Yeah. Right. We want it to be a little bit of a softer feel. That's why you're seeing a space out the, um, the stove. So it's not super tight together, which makes it a little bit clunky and heavy. There's gonna be a lot of space in there that's filled in with the mortar. Yes. And the mortar is going to dry to be lighter than what you're seeing right now. Right now it's, it's pretty dark. There's some areas that have dried, but I don't think you could probably see it on, on camera yet, but it dries slightly like a, lighter. Like too. a light gray. Right. More so. like the stone color. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. We'll see. A little, <laughs> little nervous, but it's good happens. All right. Not a deal. Go ready to open up the uh, yeah. stove. Yes! Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> so long gone. Feels like. Oh. 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 <laughs> that looks so cool! Wow. We can put your pizza down here. <laughs> Mom can make me cookies and all that good stuff inside of there. <laughs> yeah. and Mom's making me and you some cookies from here. What do you think? Yeah. You like it? I love it. Cookies. You gonna put cookies in there? And pizza. Ah. <laughs> and pizza too? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is a cook stove. It's gonna it'll heat the house. I think it's spread for a thousand square feet, but this area is right here, so it's good. But also you can put pizza in there, it's a cook stove. So you can you can bake something, you put something on top and cook on with the pans, all the stuff. So One baker wood stove that we have been dreaming about for literally years mm -hmm. is here. It's yep. ours and we're gonna get it placed soon. Yeah, but first we got to grab between all the stone. Once that cures our next few days, because this guy is heavy, mm -hmm. um, we don't want to put them on there prematurely and have anything crack. So right. we gotta grout in those different few days. Yes, and you guys are gonna see that. We'll show all of the grouting as well as the uh, stove pipe install that's gonna come up yep. obviously off of the wood stove and out through the roof. Cause we got both this wood stove and the entire stove pipe from Layman's. Yes. Who we actually found out about through our friends off grid with Doug and Stacy. Yeah, check them out. They're like real hardcore off grid compared to us. Yes. Great people though. We yeah, like good people. Yep. So we'll be, we'll be showing all of that. Um, Layman's was able to help us figure out everything that we needed from the size of the wood stove to yeah so we told him what type we wanted and we gave him square footage and said this size works best for you and i gave him the measurements from the floor up to the roof and they gave me every piece i need to go through the roof 
Yes. I'm not, I don't know anything about that stuff. They just told me what I needed and uh, yeah. It worked out well because I was Very also helpful. originally thinking that we were going to need the larger size because this stove comes in different sizes. I thought we were going to need a bigger one and we actually don't for the no. square footage. But this, this wood stove is also like secondary kind of backup mm -hmm. heat for us. Our main source of heat is going to be an outdoor wood boiler. wood boiler. But we like to to have a backup system you know just in case anything was to go wrong with that then we can also rely on this yes but it's also going to let me get my feet wet with learning how to cook on a wood cook stove because yes. that's one of my long-term goals is you know not having to rely on propane to cook but i could cook on an outdoor wood cook stove so that's down the line for us it's good to have too yes so i guess i guess that's it um Push next you up you guys are going to be seeing us do the grout. Yep. You're going to see us go out through the roof mm -hmm. and I guess get the wood stove on there. And then we're starting a fire. Yes. And it's, and it's like 75 degrees out too. I so. know. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it though. We've been waiting too long and the kids are so excited. Yep. All right, cool. Well, we'll leave links for you guys below uh, to check out Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Check out Layman's, all that good stuff. Yep. Thanks guys. See you next time. See ya.